Hi, this is Mike Lawless, and in this video, I'm going to discuss parameter sensitivity analysis in GastroPlus, and I'll be performing tutorial 5.3.7. Parameter sensitivity analysis is used to determine how much a parameter, such as solubility, will affect the pharmacokinetic property, such as fraction absorbed. This can be helpful in devising methods such as excipients, salt formulas, co-solvents, or permeability enhancers to overcome absorption or bioavailability limitations. With parameter sensitivity analysis, one parameter is varied at a time while all other parameters are held at their baseline value. There are basically three steps to performing parameter sensitivity analysis. First, one selects the parameters to vary. Next, parameter sensitivity analysis is run in GastroPlus, and this simply loops through each of the parameters and varies at one at a time. And then finally, analyzing the results, and this is done uh, using graphs. These are a few examples of parameters that can be varied. Now note that uh, this is set up for a compartmental uh, simulation. If you have uh, PBPK simulation, you'll have additional parameters, for example, liver clearance that can be uh, modified. Uh, so there's a tab called ACAT, and under the ACAT tab, you can modify oral cavity, volume, etc. Uh, the ACAT compound will um, modify enterocytes, so the fraction unbound in the enterocytes, transition time, uh, some of the, co the coefficients in the log D model, absorption scale factors in the GI tract. Uh, then compound specific properties such as solubility, transport, manufacture, log D. Uh, if you're uh, using formulation, you can perform the sensitivity analysis on Weibull function, uh, dosing, manufacture, in other words, the particle size, uh, pharmacokinetics such as clearance, physiology, and enterohepatic circulation, blood, which is a uh, uh, ratio of blood to plasma, and fraction unbound and distribution can be modified within the interface. These are the pharmacokinetic parameters which uh, you can uh, view in the graph. So uh, you can look at how much the amount dissolved uh, is affected by something such as the solubility. Also the amount or percent to the portal vein, the amount or percent absorbed, percent bioavailability, uh, area under the curve, both zero to infinity or zero to time, uh, Cmax, Tmax, and liver Cmax. Let's see what this looks like in GastroPlus. So I started GastroPlus, and we're just going to use the gas demo uh, database. And I'm going to go to the brick dust uh, record, which is the seventh record in this. And uh, obviously, this is just a made up example, but it's got a, a dose of 10 milligrams. Uh, it's got a very low solubility. The solubility is 1 times 10 to the minus 4 milligrams per milliliter. And at this particular dose, you see that your dose number uh, is highlighted in red. Uh, so it's a high number along with your dissolution number, whereas uh, it has pretty good permeability. Uh, uh, and the absorption number there is uh, about 2. And uh, we have simulation path of 1. Uh, times 10 to the minus 4 centimeters per second. Now let's go into the uh, simulation tab. We will perform a 24-hour simulation. So I'll just simply click on the start button. Uh, you'll see that the fraction absorbed is 68 percent. I'll go into the graph tab and plot absorption versus distribution. We only want to look at the amount dissolved and the amount absorbed. So I'll turn off these other two graphs. And as you can see, um, the graphs correspond with each other, which says that this is probably solubility limited. You also notice that after 24 hours, only a total of seven milligrams have been dissolved. So the other three milligrams are still undissolved. So how can we use parameter sensitivity analysis to determine w w what is uh, the most sensitive parameter to that um, or, or, or fraction absorbed? So now let's pop back into the simulation tab. Uh, if we click on PSA, that will bring up a dialog box where we, can, uh, we will have the values of the parameters to modify. 
uh, first we would click on set, select parameters and then modify or select the parameters that we want to look at. Uh, so this slide has several tabs that I discussed within the slides and then under each tab uh, are things like oral cavity, volume, length, radius, transition time, and enterohepatic recirculation. Uh, and then values that you can actually click on and modify. So what we want to do for this uh, molecule is we want to look at the uh, permeability and the solubility in the compound tab. And we're going to vary those and see how much that will affect the fraction absorbed. We can also go into the uh, formulation tab and look at the initial dose. Uh, we can look at the particle radius. And finally, the other thing we want to look at uh, is the particle density. And these are things we could optimize. We could change the dose. We could manufacture it to have a, a smaller particle radius and maybe a tighter uh, particle distribution. So now we click close to close that dialog box. And when we come back to this dialog box, we have the five parameters which we selected there. We can um, move this line over to see all of them. So we have the permeability, the solubility, the dose, the particle radius, and the particle density. And then here is the baseline value. So these are the values originally in the simulation. And we're going to go down to this lower bound for each one of these parameters and up to this upper bound and a number of tests. And we're going to do log logarithmic. You could also change this to uh, linear rather than logarithmic. So in order to go from the lower bound to the upper bound, uh, it's going to do that in uh, log increments. So we simply click OK, and then within the parameter sensitive, or back into the simulation dialog box, we would click Start. This is going to prompt us for a uh, file name. Uh, if we save this file name, we can read it back into Gastro Plus, or we could read it into Excel and uh, uh, create some graphs there. So I'm just going to save this uh, on my desktop. Uh, so I'll hit save. If I hit cancel at this point, it will still perform the parameter sensitivity analysis. It just won't save it to an ex, uh, to a text file. Uh, so once we exit Gastro Plus, then we won't be able to look at those values. And that's why I typically save them. And then you see that it's going through each one of these um, parameters and running seven, 10 simulations for each of the parameters. So that was the PEF. Now it's going through the reference solubility and the program's working uh, fairly quickly. Uh, and so I'll just uh, uh, let it finish. Okay, now the simulation is finished. So I'll go into the graph tab and uh, click on spider pot, which brings up uh, this dialog box here. Uh, so it's for this particular compound, and we're going to look at the uh, per percent absorbed. So this is the fraction absorbed. And as soon as we click on it, automatically the graphs for each one of these uh, parameters comes up. So here's the percent absorbed, and then our first graph uh, on the x-axis is the primary permeability. So this is the permeability in red. And you see that it's not much affected, or it doesn't affect the... Uh, percent absorbed very much. So then if you examine some of these other curves like this one in brown, you see a huge variation in the fraction absorbed uh, when you vary it from a low value or to a high value. Similarly, the uh, uh, particle uh, distribution and the um, density of the particles uh, have uh, large effects on the uh, uh, fraction absorbed. If you look at this blue line, which is the, um, the the particle radius, you see that once you get up to about 80% uh, up, up here, now you, you can also click on a point, and when I clicked on that point, it changes the, the axis for that. So now you can go up to about 19, and you see here that it, it only increases by about 20% uh, once you get into to lower um, uh, particle radius size. So, um, you know, you, it's kind of a diminishing returns as you, you do it that low. 
and then one can uh, show all the axes simply by clicking on this button and it gets a little bit uh, complicated so I kind of prefer to go into the um, uh, single x-axis and then click on the different um, plots in order to change the x-axis values here. So we've determined that the fraction absorbed is limited by solubility and dissolution. Uh, so now let's try and look at both those parameters being varied at the same time. So again, I'll go into the simulation tab, click on the PSA, and then select two parameters. So I'm going to select uh, from the compound tab the reference solubility and from the formulation tab uh, the particle radius. And then click OK. Now if you only have two parameters selected, uh, this button uh, becomes active. Uh, so now we can run a 3D PSA uh, and we're doing 10 points for each of these uh, but we're doing them uh, combinatorially. Uh, so when I push the start button uh, it again prompts for the name of the file so I'm going to save it again on my desktop and then once this starts you'll see that it's doing 100 total simulations so it's doing a 10 by 10 so uh, in the first part, it'll vary the uh, solubility uh, 10 times, keeping the um, particle radius fixed. Then it'll increment the particle radius and then loop over uh, the solubility, for example, again. And so we'll just let that run. Uh, I think it should take a, just a few minutes on my computer. The simulation is finished now. Uh, so we can go to the Graph tab and again click on Surface Plot. Uh, and then select our um, uh, PK property, in this case uh, percent absorbed or the fraction absorbed, so it comes up on the z-axis here and then the x and y-axis are the two parameters we varied and uh, you can see uh, the graph. Now if you click on uh, this button here, that allows you to rotate the graph around uh, so you can simply hold your left mouse button uh, and rotate it around to see the different uh, uh, views of the graph. We can uh, switch the X and Y so that we get kind of a different uh, picture of the uh, 3D plot. Uh, you can also display the baseline point. So this is the uh, point, uh, the initial point for both of these properties and then varying them in either direction. Uh, we can also show uh, 2D plots for this. So if we click on the 2D plot, uh, now you'll see uh, one of the variables uh, here, particle distribution, and then each one of these graphs represent a different reference solubility. Uh, and then we can again switch these two to see the how the reference solubility uh, as a 2D plot, um, you see the 10 plots where you varied the uh, particle radius. And then you can um, analyze various plots in here to determine what's the uh, limiting parameter here. So in summary, parameter sensitivity analysis allows one to vary an input parameter in order to determine its effect on pharmacokinetic properties. Uh, each parameter uh, is varied while the other parameters are held constant. One can specify up to uh, 10 parameters in one set of simulation. Uh, the parameter sensitivity analysis is analyzed with spider plots. Uh, you can also create 3D surface plots if you're only varying two properties at a time. Uh, these results can help determine how to overcome a compound's liability. Uh, for example, uh, maybe this if it's solubility limited, you could come up with a new salt formulation that would increase its solubility and therefore maybe increase its fraction absorbed. Uh, thanks for your time. This is Mike Lawless, and if you have any questions, please email me at mlawless at simulations-plus.com. Thank you very much.